Hey everyone, Ryan here, and in this video I'm going to show you the differences between the new Garmin Venue 3 and Venue 2 Plus. Let's start with the obvious, which is the size difference. The Venue 3 is larger in diameter but smaller in thickness. It has a diameter of 45mm versus 43.6mm of Venue 2 Plus, and its thickness is 12mm compared to 12.6mm of Venue 2 Plus, so basically it's grown like this and shrunk like this. Now the good news is that compared to Venue 2 which came before Venue 2 Plus and was even bigger than Venue 3, they've managed to increase the display size from 1.3 inches to 1.4 inches, even though there is still a big bezel there. If we take a look at the back of both watches, we can see that the stainless steel which was on the Venue 2 Plus is gone and instead it's all plastic or what Garmin calls fiber reinforced polymer. Of course the outer bezels of both watches are stainless steel and the rest of the body of the Venue 2 Plus which is what's around it, is also plastic. The size of the straps have also changed. The Vini 2 Plus has a 20 millimeter band versus the 22 millimeter band of the Venue 3. Also, the straps of the Venue 3 feel thinner, more flexible, and more comfortable. By the way, Venue 2 also had 22 millimeter straps, just like Venue 3, so it seems like they're just going back and forth between these two. So far, pretty much the only real improvement I can see here is that the size of the display has increased, which means more pixel density. To give you some perspective, even the much more expensive and bigger Epix Pro watch, which has a diameter of 47 millimeters, has a display size of 1.3 inches. So this is great. Also, I guess you could say that the choice of the 22 millimeter band was also a good one as you can find more common bands between this one and the more expensive models. And I don't believe anyone who says using the plastic rear cover is to make the watch lighter because the difference is small and not noticeable. So it only leaves us with one thing, cost saving. So I'm a bit disappointed on this one. In terms of appearance, the Venue 3 doesn't have these four screws anymore that you can see on the Venue 2 Plus. And I believe there is something to unscrew under this part and let's not forget that the Venue 3 has a new heart rate sensor and we can see that they've also changed the arrangement of sensors to the way their high-end models look. And the last hardware change is the new battery uh, which can last up to 14 days in smartwatch mode compared to 9 days. In real life though, that number can vary depending on what you do. Some people could get only a couple days of battery life with Venue 2 Plus and someone like me up to 7 days. And with the new one, most people will have battery life of 7 to 10 days if you don't turn on the always on display mode. And by the way, if you have a Venue 2 Plus and you experience significant battery drain, I've made a video about that uh, which might be helpful. That's pretty much it in terms of hardware changes. Let me know if you're liking this so far in the comments or give it a thumbs up. With that, let's now go through the software changes. I'm very happy to say that one of the most requested features of Venue series is finally here and that's HRV measurement. The catch here is that this is only overnight HRV, not during the day or activities. But still, it's a great feature and a great indication of your nervous system recovery. It's also very easy to gauge this metric. All you gotta do is make sure your HRV is in a balanced state. I've always complained why there are only two shortcuts available on the Venue 2 Plus a middle button press and a press and hold of the middle button. But now there is one extra shortcut. You just need to be on the watch face and swipe right to set it up and choose one out of these options. The next time when you swipe right, that option will pop up. Another set of new features are the workout benefits, which is the watch telling you how the workout you just did affected your body. And the other related one is the recovery time status to make sure you're really ready before you take on uh, another challenging workout. Now the Venue 2 Plus can track your sleep, but the Venue 3 also shows you the 7 day average chart of your sleep, which is what was really missing. In addition, they've also added a new feature to the Venue 3 called Sleep Coach. And the Sleep Coach may not seem a very sophisticated feature at first, because you know, it just tells you whether you need some extra sleep or not and how much of it. But I'll take that feature, you know, I think any feature that makes our sleep analysis a little more insightful is very useful. But the new sleep features don't end here. So never before could you track your naps with any of the Garmin watches. But now for the first time it's possible to do that with the new Venue 3 and of course Venue 3S. And by the way, pretty much everything I say about the Venue 3 except the size and battery life also applies to Venue 3S. 
the body battery of the Venue 3 also has a new feature called Factors. This page shows you how much you're affecting your body battery. So for example, if you take a nap, you can see how much that nap recharged your body battery. If you take another nap later, you can see how much that other nap recharged your body, body battery and so on. One UI change in the Venue 3 is the separation of the activity and apps menu. Whereas on Venue 2 Plus, everything is in one place. So I welcome this change. One more sleep tracking related change I forgot to talk about is the sleep schedule, which was missing from the Venue 2 Plus and Venue 2. This is a great feature that I've been seeing on their other watches like Forerunner, Phoenix, and Epix. And it's especially useful for those of you who do shift work because you can set up a sleep schedule for each day of the week separately. The Venue 3 also has a morning report, which to me isn't a very special report because it just looks like going through the glances view, which is this one. So nothing special. So you can obviously receive your messages on the watch, but the Venue 3 can also show you the pictures in the message. But this is only available to you if you have an Android phone. In general, iPhone has some restrictions, which means some of the messaging features aren't available to you if you have an iPhone. One great UI change is that now you can change the font size from small to large, which is also another feature people have been wanting to have on their watch. But what's a little weird is that the default font size of the Venue 3 is already bigger than that of Venue 2 Plus, and I'm not a big fan of it but I understand it makes things more readable. In terms of activity tracking, they've also added a few more sport profiles. The ones that are exciting to see are open water swimming and guided meditation. So the Venue 2 Plus can track pool swimming, but not open water swimming. And it has breathing exercises, but not guided meditation with audio. So these new additions are awesome. I absolutely love it when I see a brand cares about accessibility. We already saw that they've added the ability to change the font size, which is a great accessibility feature. But the one that tops everything else is the new wheelchair mode on the Venue 3. So when this mode is enabled, instead of steps, the watch tracks your pushes. And instead of those other sport profiles, you'll have access to dedicated built-in workouts and sport profiles. So it's very encouraging to see this change. The next change is that the Venue 3 now has audio prompts, which is a useful feature that can let you know of your lap time, your pace, your heart rate, and things like that. And lastly, the next important change is the addition of the jet lag advisor, which was missing from the Venue 2 Plus, which is a useful feature when traveling to a different time zone. Of course, there are some other smaller changes as well, for example, new watch faces, etc. But these are the most important changes that you needed to know. But before buying this watch, I do recommend that you watch my actual review video of the Venue 3 to learn about a couple issues I've found about this watch. Hope you liked and sub. See you in the next one.